Oh, I totally just ran that. Ah! I ran a red line. Oh, boy. Let's pull this guy over. Just totally ran that in front of a cop. But it's fine. Ay, ay, ay. Here, I want you to take the lead on the stop. Out of step. Pull it over, please. <laughs> Up a little more, please. I need you here, Wade. Okay, so we're pulling over for negligent driving and running a red light. Go ahead and call it in. Oh, God. Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 120, uh, 76, I'm ready to pick you up. Black phone. 31080 with a blue two door sports car from the. Hello, officers. Hello, What's going on? Hi. Um, not much. Just came back from the hospital. Uh, my, my car got towed because I ejected out. So now I'm getting my car now. Um, how about you guys? Lovely night we're having, right? Kind of quiet, nice, slow night. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, well, What's the of the chase? Uh, what the hell was that explosion? Right? Explosions right? Explosions you said that? Happened. Yeah, that, that's hell? crazy. I don't know what that was. Yeah. Well, the reason we're pulling over today, today is, right, you can say the red light back there in the hospital. 20, 20, 20. Oh, wanted yeah. Wanted to make sure everything was all right. Wanted to make sure there was no emergencies going on. Oh, well, I am headed to the MRPD right now, actually. Oh, actually, this might be perfect. So somebody just stole my gun from my glove box. So I went to, I was gonna go report it and uh, hopefully catch the guys. You put the gun in your glove box? Sure. Yeah, you know, I just didn't want to carry it on me all times. And then somebody just came in, they had like vulture masks and they stole sure. my gun. I have a gun license though. I'm a, I'm, I'm a good person, I'm a good, good person. Never got a ticket in my life. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you are, partner. Hey, can we get, get 277s here across the courthouse? Uh, Electronic store area. There's 9F and a gauntlet driving kind of crazy here. And we just pulled over September Foos, who said she had a gun stolen out of her glove box. All right. Give me one moment, all right? Okay. Probably stop on some freeway. Then, then, what do you need? I know I have weed, but they have no reason to check me. Let, okay. me, uh, let me run a plates real quick just to make sure everything's right. Yeah, go ahead. So, what'd you notice during that, uh, during that stop? LS freeway passing water treatment. I noticed Down there's a lot of cars uh, moving around Jack, the area. Jack, Jack, are you good? If anything, I'd rather just take the ticket. I'd rather just take the speeding ticket. Uh, she seemed a little nervous. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, you had a 9F and a gauntlet driving around like crazy. Uh, they came here. I didn't see who the, who was in the car, but you have them driving around like crazy. She said she put a gun in a glove box, which sounds overwhelmingly stupid to me. I'm just like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna press. I'm 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 just gonna, if anything. What? Didn't lock her car, and then somebody came and took it, and then she reported stolen. So, to me, this is like a textbook. Imagine if I just drive away right now. They're they're trying to come up with some bullshit excuse to to they're selling a gun, right? Now we don't have the PC for that. We don't know that for sure. Um, I say PC like there's you know like for the sale of like weapons trafficking, right? Um, however, <laughs> imagine imagine if I run away right now. <laughs> they catch me in two seconds. Also, it seems like the cops are completely free today, so I'm pretty sure there'd be ten cops on me instantly. Um, if somebody has like their gun stolen, some some shit just happened to them, and you pull them over for like something as as minuscule as a running a red light, negligent driving because they're right. hitting shit. A lot of times, I say, hey, you know, don't worry about it. There's a warning. And I try and take care of their problem. Right? It kind of depends. All right. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you think that way. I was uh, of a similar mindset. She wanted to go down to MRPD. I think we escorted down there. We take a statement. What do you think about that? 
Uh, yeah, I think I think that's a good idea. Um, let's uh, we can we can kind of use this as an opportunity to investigate. We can take her statement. Right. And uh, hmm. they have no reason to search me. It's gonna be fine. It's going to be fine. They have no reason to search me. I just ran a red light. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, we can find out if she's selling shoot or not. Maybe. Understood. So, okay. Right, let's go talk to her. Let's go tell her. All right, September. Uh, mm -hmm. Looked up your your license. Everything's in the clear. No, you haven't uh, gotten any traffic citations in the past. So nope, I don't want to. I don't want to hit you with anything that. So I'm Aww. gonna give you a warning this time. But you mentioned the the stolen gun license. You're about yes. to head over to MRPD. Oh. Uh, not stolen well, gun license, stolen, stolen gun. Oh, stole, stolen, yeah, gun, stolen gun, excuse me, stolen gun. Uh, head over to MRPD with us, we'll take a statement, we'll make sure we investigate that, and if we can find your gun, we'll get it back to you. Oh my god, okay, we'll perfect, perfect, okay, thank you so much. Wait, why All don't right, you, perfect. wait, you guys should catch that car, what the Hello, heck? Hello, sir. Yeah, that up, looks highly up, illegal, up, actually. Huh? Oh, sir, yeah, oh, whoever, whoever sir, the heck that is, you're gonna have to get off the sidewalk, please. A, I think they should get a ticket. Actually, that's I have crazy. To get off the sidewalk. That's just crazy. Yes, please. <laughs> you can't be driving like crazy on the sidewalk, whoa, sir. Whoa. There's another gauntlet nine F showed up here. Here, let's go. We can go to the station. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, we can go take your statement. Okay. All right, we'll uh, we'll tell behind you. All right. Okay. Take your statement in when we get there. Sounds good. Let me just go ahead and uh, yeah. Put those there. Yeah, that's perfect. You said somebody came into your car and, and stole a gun out of the glove box? Yeah, so these two guys with vulture masks. I was, like, parked at Mosley's. Oh. And I needed help getting to um, just, like, the next place I was going to. So then they're like, oh, I can mark it on your GPS. And I'm, I was so fucking dumb. I'm just like, okay. And they come in my car and they mark it on my GPS. And then, and then, and then my, and then I'm like, oh, wait, oh, and yep, it was all gone. And then they took it from my glove box and I'm like, oh, and they sped off in a motorcycle. Okay. Do you remember what type of motorcycle it was? Um, it was black. I, I have, I'm not really a motorcycle girl, so I don't here, really let, know. Let's go inside of here, actually. Okay. Yep, it's from PD. Okay, you want to go ahead and uh, take this report down? Lando, I went ahead and started yeah, it. We'll, we'll take it down real quick. Yeah, I went ahead and started it at 7738. Okay, so... Um, September, can you show us your ID? Yes. There you go. <clears throat> Oh God! Please, please don't check my car. It has weed uh, in there. Where did this take place again? Uh, Mosley's. Mosley's. Yeah. All right. Oh my God! It was. Uh, sorry. I'll just explain once you ask questions. The more I talk, the worse it is. So I'm just not gonna talk. But this is a true story. This is a true story. Did you call 911 about this? Um, 311. 311, okay. That's what I've been told, at least. Oh my god, I'm so hot. Okay. Do you guys do uh, ride-alongs by any chance? As an upstanding citizen as myself, I've always wanted to do a ride-along. Uh, yeah, the uh, we actually do do ride-alongs, but there's <gasps> like uh, there's like some stipulations about that. But yeah, potentially we could do a ride-along. 
Oh my God, please let me know. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you went and um, you went to Mosley looking for directions, and then. Oh well, I went to Mosley uh, buying a repair kit, um, but I was in the I was parked, and then I was like, okay, I need to know how to get to this place, and then um, I didn't know how to get there. So then, this lovely vulture mask guy offered to ping it for me. Do you remember what type of gun it was that they took from you? Um, I just bought it from the um, ammunition store. All right, do you know if it was a M1911 or if it was a Glock? Um, uh, I have no idea. Uh, the ammunition store only sells one gun for me, though. All right. Yeah, I think they ran out of Glocks. Did they? All right. I, I think so. Where were you trying to get to? I was trying to get to my house. But it's like not on the GPS, so I was really confused. It's like a house yeah. in Southside. Okay. You, you own the house? Uh, my name's on it, yeah. You're not the owner, right? No, no, no. Who is the owner of the house? I believe it is Maximilian Angel. It's under his name. Okay. They uh they added me onto it recently. But I think we're selling. I don't know. I'm not too. I'm not like too invested in that house. I just bought a new new house in Vespucci. That's my house under my name. Okay. Do you remember if they said anything? Did they introduce themselves as, as a, a name or anything like that? Not at all. No, guys, like, I was asking directions to, of, like, where, what area, what, like, what general area it was, you know? It's, it's, it Have makes sense what, anything else that September doesn't know where her, that well, house I'm, I'm is. I'm going over some shit here. Um, it makes right. sense that September doesn't know where that house is, but like you know, somebody who's. So you said it's a house on in the south side. Do you know what? Do you know what street it's on? Um. Oh gosh, let me check my GPS. Yeah, this. Oh, I. How do I check my GPS in here? Oh, uh, you just you know you just look at. I mean, you look at it. You know, it's on the same. It's on your phone, just like it always is. It's only showing me the MRPD. Oh, uh, you just, uh, you just have to tab out on. on your phone. I'm just taking it where, uh, um, I know one race starts, so I'm just here hmm. for a few minutes. After that, while we were pursuing the 99 uh, upper, I did see uh, a shoe race full of, like, you have to cap it off. Maybe, you know, maybe you have to cap it off cars instead of tap. Had... Of David, uh, David it was capping. Okay. Okay, so it is, oh gosh, I, even now I don't know. I think it's in Southside, I think Grove Street? I think it's like in that area. I don't like going to that one very much, though. Okay. Who who else lives with you? Oh, um, my sister April Foos, um, Ray Mond, Gigi, um, Queenie L Queenie, um, you know, um, I don't think you know is on the list though. Um, or actually, I think he is. Anyway, um, Hazel and Kitty. Um, is there anyone else? I think that's it. Okay. You know, the only one not, not on the lease. I think he might be, but I'm not like a hundred percent sure. And, and it's under Max's name. So Max is also on the lease. Okay. You're always invited over. Well, thank you. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Okay. Um, who, when did you buy your gun? Oh, gosh. This is like a month ago, I think. Yeah. Okay, so you, so you bought a gun. Is that the only gun you've ever bought? No, I bought one more gun um, yesterday. 
Okay, so you bought a gun yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, Just in case one got stolen, ironically. <laughs> okay. Um, why'd you not wait until the gun got right. stolen to, to buy the other gun? I don't know. I just... I just kind of like... Um, I don't know. I was like, might as well. Okay. Um, did anybody know about your stolen gun? No. Or not the stolen gun, but the gun that was stolen. Yeah, you no, no, no. to the orange. Who who knew bar. that you owned a gun? The lady who I don't know her name. Oh gosh, what was her name? She's the one who like gave me my gun license test. Uh, the judge. Uh, I uh, forgot her name. I don't. I literally I don't know what she was. But she gave me my the test that I had to like. You know that test? I forgot her name though. Okay. But I bought one right after she gave me that test. So nobody knew that you bought a gun yesterday? Oh, yesterday. No, no one knew. Okay. So who knew that you owned a gun? Is she the only person that knows that you, you owned a gun? Well, I may have... I may have bragged to all my friends that, you know, I, I may have whipped it out on occasion. You know, a lot of my friends probably saw me with it. Duh, not going to lie. I'm, uh, you know, all my friends are criminals and I'm the only one who has a gun license. I'm like, ha ha. Right. Yeah. But I mean, that that's it. And it was always done in like, you know, private, very private court, you know, not in public or anything, you know, like I would never do that in public. That's crazy. Right. <laughs> But, I mean, that's allowed, right? Uh, no, technically, that's brandishing a firearm, which is illegal. Oh, you mean, like, in my own house, though? I mean, shit, I won't arrest you for it. I mean, I I don't give a oh. damn. I think everybody should have okay. guns. I think so, too. It's, it's, it's scary out there on the streets, and I'm just a coral. Well, hell, I mean, that's God-given right as far as I'm concerned. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Brandishing a threat in a way for a non firearm, for firearm it's at all. So you say when you say all your friends, you would show it off to all your friends. Like who 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 are these friends? Oh, I plead the fifth, Ossifer. So do you not want to get your gun back? Um, it, uh, yeah, I mean, it would be lovely to get my gun back. That would be lovely. But <laughs> those two vulture guys, they ain't my friends. Okay, so how do you know that? Oh, actually, I, I mean, I, I would agree with you. I don't but... know that, but that would be pretty freaked up if those were my friends. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't call them your friends either. Yeah, no. So... That's why I'm trying to find out who who would possibly know that you have a gun. Oh, no, I genuinely don't think they knew. I think it was just in my glove box, and they were just like, I think they just vultured me. Uh-huh. So why'd you have your, why'd you have your gun in the glove box? Oh, I just didn't want to carry it on me. But why not? Because, I don't know, what if I get robbed? I do G6, I have a tier 3 car. I get robbed a lot. Okay. So then... Let me think here. Am I gonna go to jail, Ossifer? So you didn't want to get robbed, so instead you put it in your, your vehicle, in your glove box, and yeah, you let someone in the car? Yeah, and I got robbed. I know. I, I have no street smarts. I know. it. For somebody as experienced as yourself, it doesn't make sense. But I'm, I'm just not that street smart, to be honest. I didn't even know you could lock your car from the inside. What do you mean? You just press the button. <laughs> I know. I, did, I didn't even know that until after. When did you get your license? Well, I came to the city with my license, but uh, 
you know, just because you have a license doesn't mean you drive well. Okay. I'm just a girl. Well, I mean, I don't mean shit. Uh, let's see. Um. So you put in the glove box because you didn't want to carry, you didn't want to get robbed. Yeah. Um, so why'd you buy a gun in the first place? I know, it doesn't make sense. I bought a gun just in case I needed to defend myself. Oh, sorry, January's calling me. Call her later. <clears throat> so I bought a gun because I didn't want to... Wait, what? I got a gun to defend myself, but then when it came down to it, I'm like, am I really going to use the gun? Like, what if a guy like comes up to me and just like holds a gun to my head? Then I don't even have time to pull it out, and then it just gets robbed off of me. So I'm like, what's the point of even carrying it? So it made sense in my head when I got the license. I was like, well, I'll have a gun to defend myself because, you know, I did G6 a lot. I literally have a tier 3 truck. You can look it up. And, and then I was like, wait, but... I'm not actually going to use it because, like, it'll be too late. So then I'm like, why do I even have this? So then I put it away. But you got another gun yesterday? Yeah, not going to lie. It makes me feel very powerful having guns. <laughs> as stupid as it sounds, I've taken similar reports in real life. I'm literally not lying. This is a true story. Okay. So so again, who who all would know that you have a gun? Mm, the first one or the second one? The, I mean, it doesn't matter. The second one, you said nobody, right? Yeah, the second one, only I know. Only I know that I have that gun. And then the first one, a bunch of people know I have that gun. He's trolling me because he knows me. <laughs> who who are some of these people? Um, well, a lot of G sixers. Um, I don't know. Just like, I feel like everyone knows I have a gun license and a gun. My roommates do. So it's do you have your store. do you have your second I, gun on you right now? No, it's in my storage at my house. Okay. How long was your gun in the glove box? Probably for like a day. I just put it in there before I did my G6. And when did you do your group six? Oh god, these are all very, very stressful questions. Oh uh, <sighs> uh, god, I don't even know. I, I, oh god, I don't know. I have no idea. Did you do it today? Somewhere. Yeah, I, uh, that, no, wait, what? Well, technically, I mean, technically it was yesterday because it's, it's for it's technically yesterday, yesterday, okay. yesterday. So why did you why did you not put it in your storage like your other gun? Because I mean, if you oh, had all that to yeah, no, I drove my car to G six to do my G six run. <laughs> Okay. But then but then why why did you not put it in your your storage at home? Oh, because I had my okay, I had my gun on me. I drove to G6 and then I was like, "Wait, I don't want to carry the gun on me." So I left it in my car and I forgot about it. Okay. You know, this this is this is uh, a lot of questions. Well, what I'm trying to do is I'm I'm trying to break through the entire series of events where somebody could have thought that you have a gun in your either in your car or your glove box or something. Oh. Right now we just want to make sure that whoever took this gun wasn't specifically targeting you, right? Oh. That 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 definitely could have been a possibility. Somebody saw you, saw you using the gun, saw you pointing oh. it around and said Fuck, I got I to gotta follow her around, and I got to take that gun whenever I got the opportunity. Uh, oh. Right. Yeah, that could have happened. Yeah, so like we're trying really to... really 
they really did just seem like randoms. Like, I'm the one who asked them to ping for me in my GPS, and they came in. Like, it's crazy. I'm so dumb. Wow, you would think five years of Among Us would make me a better liar, but nope. But I don't know, this happens to me a lot. People just come in my car and they just look at my glove box. So you know sure, this happens a lot and you left a gun in the glove box? Yeah, I know. But like, I don't know, It's the, I've never actually gotten anything stolen from me before. So I'm like, what are the chances? Okay, so when this happened, you, um, you 311'd it? Mm-hmm. Why, why did you 311 well, well, it no, instead I, of 911? Oh, um, I don't know. I just asked somebody, like, what I should do, and they said if they want one it. Who'd you ask? I have no idea. Just some random person. I'm like, oh, my God, my gun got stolen. What did, what like, did, oh, uh, they what do they look like? I have no idea. Just dressed like a normal person. Did they have pink hair? Mm, no. Were they wearing a vulture mask? <laughs> no. Not okay. the person who told me it's 311 at least. Okay. <laughs> they want to keep so bad. But after uh, stealing my gun, they drove off to the west side. If that means anything. To the west side? What, what mm -hmm. did they drive uh, off in? A motorcycle. Shit, right. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. Uh, I don't have any other questions. Um... Something you could do for us, by the way. Yeah. Go to your gun, and uh, I'm going to be gone here for the next hour or so. Go ahead and mm -hmm. tell Lando here. Uh, get in touch with Lando and uh, get the serial number of the gun that you currently own. Okay. And we make sure that's documented. Okay. If, if you can send that to 311, I'll keep an eye on the 311s for you, all right? Uh -huh. Okay, will do. All right. Well, I appreciate you, September. Uh if there's anything else we can help you with, please let us know. Come down to the station. Give us a call on 311-911 if it's an emergency. But uh, I don't believe we have any more questions, right? All right. That sounds amazing. Let me know if you guys see ride-alongs. And, uh, yeah, definitely be on the lookout for any pink-haired criminals that aren't me. That's crazy. Hey, absolutely. All right. Thank you so much, Austin. Do you have pink hair? Well, it's like peach. You know the Japanese peaches? I was kind of going for that. No. Oh. I don't know anything well, about Japanese peaches. Oh, yeah, they, they look like a yellowish pink color. Very pretty color. Why? Because they like the color. No, why they do like they look peaches. like that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't I ask Mother Nature. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. <laughs> All right. But anyway. All right, Miss Foos, you have a nice day, okay? Sorry about your gun, but I think we got a lot of information. We're going to see if we can uh, track this thing down. Okay, thank you so much. All right, absolutely. Have a nice Take one, you nice guys. Department. Have a nice day. Bye. Okay, I'm running a little late for my, my next thing that I got here. Understood. But I want to I wanna talk about this right quick. A couple things to note. Um, one... Um, I think if you really wanted to, you could push for this to be criminally negligent ownership of a firearm. Because with the information she gave us, like I put it in the glove, glove, glove box because I didn't want to carry a gun and get robbed of my gun. This happens to me a lot. People just come in my car and look through my glove box. You, you know what I mean? Like shit like that. Her leaving it in for a full day. Um, I mean, I, I would definitely call this criminally negligent ownership of a firearm. Um at the at the bare minimum, I'd get her weapons license removed, um, which we'd have to talk to a judge about. You okay, my love. I am never reporting a gun stolen for you ever again. Why? They just grilled me for like twenty minutes straight. 
What? Cornwood just grilled me for 20 uh, minutes okay. straight uh, at the uh, fucking, right there. at the fucking PD MRPD. Let I me guess. He asked you 50 fucking questions. He said, he said, oh, well, how did you lose? Why didn't you just shoot them? Yeah, he asked me the timeline of everything and then i remembered yeah. that liars give too much information so then i started to just say i don't know to like half the questions and he like finally stopped but like bro like he even said are you sure somebody with pink hair doesn't know you own that gun and i'm like sure. excuse you yeah, and uh, the moment you said he started asking too many quick listen you're uh you know i told you that's what comes with it you know we call it we call it the cg effect